Hey what's going on guys, Marty and welcome to another Minecraft video. So as you can see guys, I've just been working on a mob spawner. Uh, I've been all around uh, trying to kind of light up the caves or probably just use some buckets. I've made quite a lot of buckets. So I've been just using the buckets as well. Most of them, uh, most of the caves I've been filling up just with water. Kind of save uh, the coal for some other stuff. And uh, in here in the mob spawner, all I did is just did a huge circle all around. Uh, placed some dirt and I planted some saplings. And as you can see, it's kind of uh, uh, surrounding the whole... Uh, <laughs> spawn area now so I'm pretty happy with this actually what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of build like a whole wall all around I'm gonna take you now inside and show you what I mean and uh, I wanted to kind of use wood so I thought it's gonna take like forever to go and gather all the woods so what I did is just planted saplings and as you can see they're just growing and um, they're just kind of making you know walls for all this uh, circle in here so I don't have to actually build the walls myself so um, it's a round wall all around and uh, I think yeah it's very easy all you have to do is just uh, place some dirt some saplings on top and uh, let them do the job I think I might want to take the leaves later I'm not sure I probably need a few shit to do this um, so I'm probably gonna leave them like this for now and <laughs> they look awesome uh, probably these ones some of them they might actually, may actually as you can see here and uh, it all grew fine they're not too bad so um, yeah I think it's for due to the you know the latest updates uh, they kind of fix the bug uh, when you know trees are growing next to each other because I think before you had to use like a ton of bone meals to get them growing right next to each other like this but now without to have bone meals and I haven't really used any bone meals whatsoever this one just grown up think so so um i'm gonna leave it for a bit or do you know what i'm just gonna probably fast forward the growth oh yeah by the way guys these are the stuff which i kind of got from them i've been using them uh, you know some of the stuff but uh i've took some as well back home uh, so i've got these in here just kind of uh, want to start making some more um you know tnts and stuff like that and these i've been using them to kind of eat because whenever i'm actually hitting them i'm just losing my strength so I'm going to leave some here, and uh, I'm going to turn these into bomb meals, and uh, I haven't really killed any of these for like 5 minutes or so, so there's quite a lot of them there, so I think it's just um, uh, getting a little bit laggy, so I think I need to kill them, and uh, see how much I'll get XP from them, so, oh no, wrong button, so no, you want to stay on, okay, you want to, come on, oh gosh, all kind of ah because I double clicked it that's what happened okay so I kind of crushed them before I could get the XP um, not a problem so I didn't get an XP from them because I uh, clicked it twice really fast so I kind of crushed them there and uh, you must hit them by your hand to get the XP if uh, some of you guys don't really know uh, so okay anyway um so I was hoping to get some XP from them so I still have quite a few caves that I am to you know to work on and um, yeah, it's working much better now. Uh, as you can see, more falling down. So it's uh, yeah, it's much better now, uh, which is really good. Okay. Um. So what I want to do is actually uh, probably want to use the bomb meals to grow these saplings quickly, and then after this, I want to replace all these dirt uh, with like uh, logs. Oh, okay, just one. Okay, that's really good. I thought I might have to use more bomb meals to grow them. So yeah, that's that's really good actually. Oh, that's a huge one there. <laughs> I think I might want to start placing some torches around here because otherwise they're probably going to start spawning around me. And uh, it's probably this is this is like the fastest way if you want to build a wall around something. Just uh, if you want to you know build it out of wood, just um, place some dirt saplings and just go around with bomb meal. And uh, or probably just leave it for like an hour. I think I've had him not even an hour. I've had him not for ten minutes. Look at that the spider day is having a party. <laughs> Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Look at this. I have really. I don't know. I never really thought about this before. I don't know why. Um, it's really fast. You don't have to kind of go around and chop the woods. You could just, as I said, you know, do this uh, with some bone meals, and it only taking one bone meal each. So that's really good. So I mean. I had about 30, I think, 30 something, and I turned into bomb meals. I got like over one stack and a half, so you get a lot of, you know, bomb meals from about 30 bones. So it's not, right, it's not really a problem. And uh, yeah, but that would save you a lot of axes if you want to go and break all these woods. 
Okay, so um, another thing, guys, I'm actually thinking about because I haven't really linked this land here to the you know 30 homes, the 30 days uh, ward or not ward, uh, village or town down there, which I think I want to do this soon. I'll probably want to build. I was thinking about building a bridge, but it's too far. I mean, the distance is really, really far. So I'm gonna end up building a massive bridge. Let me guys know if you want to see a huge bridge. That's gonna take me that forever, and probably require a lot of uh, you know uh, materials and stuff like that. So um, I'm not too sure if I want to actually do it or not. So, yeah, definitely, guys, let me know what you think. And uh, I stopped using my enchanted tools because, um, I mean, I haven't really used them much. Uh, but I don't know, I kind of look it after them. <laughs> but now I've got a lot of um, XP points again really fast. So I think I might want to start using them again. Uh, I haven't really used them since that last time. So, yeah, I think I want to start using them uh, very soon again. Um, you definitely need a mob spawner. I mean, when I didn't have the mob spawner, I found it really difficult to get the XPs and uh, uh, to get the materials. It's kind of getting a little, little bit harder. So, uh, since I built this, uh, which is, you know, yesterday to today, I've probably, like, you know, sorted out everything that I needed straight away. The bomb meals, uh, the, you know, the gunpowder. I was pretty much running out of gunpowder and I need them to use, uh, you know, to flatten out the ward or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I mean, mob spawner is very important, and um, as I said, I've been, um, you know, trying to kind of work on it, try to kind of fix it, see why it's not actually spawning, the spawn rate is uh, low, and since I've been around, you know, lighting off um, all the caves, and, um, you know, um, instead of a torture, sometimes I'm actually, like, using uh, water, I've got, like, 10 buckets, and uh, I get into a cave, and straight away, what I do is just make, like, you know, two by two infinite water supply and then I start using it um, you know to fill up the, the space in the cave as long as you cover you know all the ground in the caves and all that um, you guarantee your spawn rate and your mob spawn is actually going to go up which is really good and uh, yeah definitely I'm really enjoying this but I want to do something around here I'm not too sure yet but it looks like it's going to be my next home I think <laughs> get this the whole tree is just floating <laughs> So, um, I definitely want to start working as well next on, I'm, I'm working on something right now as well uh, in the modern town. I don't know if I actually want to show it to you yet. Uh, it's probably going to take another week or so to get it done. I might want to, uh, I don't know. I don't want to show it to you. That's the thing because um, it's a huge thing. It's like semi underground. It's like partially underground, partially over the ground. It's in the space where I was asking you guys uh, in my previous video, uh, what do you think I should do here? Uh, yeah, I took some of your advices, but um, uh, one, some of them they quite huge uh, to build an area there. So I uh, decided to kind of mix up with uh, one of you guys, uh, you know, idea or something else that um, I'm going to actually build there. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of starting working on it now. Uh, well, I've been working on it for the last two days. So I'm probably going to take another four or five days for it to, you know, to happen because I've been doing a lot of digging there and it's getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> But uh, it's all worth it, you know, I've getting all the materials that I need anyway, so which is good. Hopefully I've got enough, yeah, I've got a ton of love. I mean, look at this, this is just me going around uh, the mines, um, you know, not the mines, the caves and all that, trying to uh, place torches and uh, uh, I think I've got my buckets here. Oh, I thought I've left them back there because I left a chest somewhere and I forgot what it was and it had, I think, a few iron in there. So, uh, yeah, just a few, you know, few hours and I managed to get, you know, 12 uh, diamonds and all that. And I wasn't actually looking for them, I was just going, looking for caves and all that, so. So it's not too bad. <laughs> so I need to put these away. Um, no, you go. I've been trying for the last, I don't know, half an hour trying to organize everything. So you can go here at the end. Oh, you can stay with me for a bit. Um, so it's getting dark. And probably then the spawn rate is going to actually start dropping down. What I want to do is actually, I've made a bed, which I'm going to place it. There it is. So I think I want to skip the night quickly. Um, so I need to place it somewhere where it's like lit up. So I might need to place some torches. Otherwise, I would spawn right next to you. What well, a, a mob would spawn right next to me. So if you do this, should be fine. Hopefully. Okay, so that was fine. As long as you kind of light um, the place all around the bed, it's fine. Um, hopefully, they won't actually spawn around you. 
And uh, cool. Okay, so I'm going to kill them again quickly. Hopefully I'm not going to crush them before they go down. So, yay. Some CDs as well, please. Yep, yep. One CD. Really good. You get a ton of CDs from this box. So I don't think I've done it. It's uh, very easy to kind of get, you know, CDs and stuff like that, which is really good. Oh, I think these ones they just fell down. And trust me, guys, the the creepers they won't explode because they could only see half of you, or they can't actually see you at all because they could only look through the glass. But I don't think they could actually see through the glass. So if I close this. Uh, where's my sword? I think it's my sword. So these because they just fell down straight to the water. They didn't take any damage. And you could actually hit them through the glass. It's not a problem. I think. Oh, okay. No, you can't. They fixed that bug. <laughs> Must have been a bug then before. Okay, cool. I'm happy I've got a CD as well. Come here, zombie. Don't be scared. You're only gonna die. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, cool. Oh, no. I need the XP. So every few minutes you can just come back and check on your spawner. And um, I think now it's spawn rate is about, you know, 60%. It's not even 70 yet, so I still have to kind of work on it yet. Um, so it's slightly better, but not too better, so I still have to work on it. Oh, did I get a cross? Yeah, okay. So I got a crossbow from them. A CD, another CD. I've got, got the black, sort of purple. What's this one called? C418. Uh, Mall style scrap, okay, and uh, some spider eye, it's good for potions. I still haven't really done like a potion lab around here. I need to actually make a small potion lab <laughs> somewhere around here. Um, so the sandstones, I need more actually for the reef. Oh, I think I've gathered some as well while I was doing the mining, okay. Of course, I've got some more sand. I'll probably still definitely need more. I was actually thinking, guys, because some of you guys have been asking me about, um, you know, if I want to release this word. I am going to release it, but um, I'm not going to release it now. The reason why is because um, I still have to do a lot of things around here. So I'm not exactly sure how to put this. Um, I don't want to release it now because it's not done. That's all I could say. And I've received some comments from you guys that you said, like, you know, we'd rather have it fully done and uh, released to us and do a stupid mistake over and over again. Uh, so, I think I still want to, you know, get the modern down, modern town done first and then probably, I'm still working on some other stuff and, um, this is getting annoying. <laughs> I'm still working on some other stuff as well and, um, if you guys know where the farm is, um, this, you know, I've got some stuff I want to build next to it as well. And yeah, there's still a few things here and there which I want to get done first and then probably release it to you guys. So, you know, I want to be, I want to have this word like looking perfect before I actually release it out. Um, I know you guys can't really wait to play or be around in this word. So this is why another thing that I was thinking about hosting a server, but server is very costly for me. So I don't know how I'm actually going to host the server. Um, I said I want to host it a time ago, but I've found it a little bit difficult. I know it's probably not much to most of you guys, but uh, to me it's very expensive. And I've been trying to save money for uh, my computer. I was actually supposed to buy it last week, but uh, some unlucky things that happened to me actually made me spend some of the money that I had saved on my car. So I um, yeah, had a problem with the engine, so I had to kind of get it fixed, and it was a kind of overheating, whatever. Same as my computer. <laughs> Everything that I have right now is actually overheating. So I don't know what's going on with the engine. It was kind of um, going on fire every time I was driving off, like an hour. So I uh, to get the mechanic and kind of got it fixed, and it cost like four hundred pounds. That's probably most of the money that I had saved for the computer. So right now, all I could do is probably wait and until I save more money for hopefully to get the computer. I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, it's probably going to take me some time because um, yeah kind of uh, without a job at the moment so it's a little bit difficult so this is all done and uh, all I have to do now I don't know if I want to actually do a brief now thinking about how much it took me to to do the bottom here so probably just leave it like this kind of like it so nothing gonna actually fall down from the sky oh 
Actually, the rain. Rain is very annoying. Unless if, if I'm at night, I could just keep the night straight away. So what I want to do actually now is uh, probably make a couple of doors. And, uh, so I need some wooden planks. And I think I've got one already. Oh, I didn't want to place it down. So these are my tools which I haven't really used in a while. I haven't really enchanted the sword. I want to enchant this as well. Um, so I think I've got a door somewhere. Right. I'm sure I have a door somewhere. I think I must have placed it back at home. Yeah, I must have. Where's the axe? Okay, so I need to make another door. Okay. Um, do I need any glass? Let me just see. Which I know eating these rotten flesh is poison, but um, yeah, it kind of affects ghosts after like a few seconds anyway, so which is good. And I have the particles on minimal, so you don't actually see them weird bubbles going around, so which is another thing good. Uh, okay, so this is a little bit tricky because of here. I want to do as she is uh, destroy this. Okay, one of the slabs just fell down. So I need to go down and get it. And I've got these pumpkins here. I don't even feel when I take them out. Did I get it? I don't know. I've had them here like since I first started playing in this world. So it's been a long time since I had them here. And yeah, I don't think I want to take them out. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, I fell down in the water. Okay, so I want to place them. Um... Like this? Oh, not there. Okay. We got no more woods. Some stones. Uh, let me see what I have there. Let me actually kill these first. Okay. Okay, that was in a great spawn. Okay. Oh, because it's, uh, it's dark, that's why, probably. And uh, let me just keep the night. I was wondering. And sometimes, as I said, when I just move away from them, uh, they just start to disappear. I don't know why. Uh, I remember back in the old updates, like, used to be really good, because I remember I used to kind of go away about 100 blocks, and they, they would start disappearing, but not like this. They they disappear really fast in these updates, so a little bit annoying. Um, hmm, what was I then? Uh, I wanted to actually get a... Hmm. Okay, so one could go here. Oh, I should have placed this one first. So I need to break this one. Okay, so you can go here. Okay. A door without a roof. <laughs> um, so I've got some uncooked stone. And I do not know what I'm going to use the wood. Uh, where's the wood, wood, wood? I've got some here anyway. Yes, I do. I need to cover all this actually. Uh, probably gonna start doing this soon. Okay, so you got to be close, so this one could go here. Why does this stupid happen? Oh, an apple. Boom. Okay. I haven't really had an apple in a while. <laughs> okay. I was actually reading it in the internet and they say you like you get one in two hundred. I didn't actually understand this. Uh, you know the apple. Did that actually mean like in every two hundred trees you get one apple? Um, it doesn't really make sense because sometime I break one tree and I probably end up getting like four or five, and then it probably take another few trees to get like an apple, and then you get another four or five out of one. So I don't think the 
you know, the idea of 200, 1 out of 200, I don't really understand it. I think I read it in the Minecraft Wiki, so I'm not exactly sure what they mean. So as you can see, uh, when it's like daylight, uh, the spawn rate kind of goes back up. Uh, I think I'm, I've done something wrong up there. I still want to go back and check because um, I've slightly divided it different inside compared to the ones I had before. So I want to see if this is what's affecting the spawn as well. So I want to still work on it, improve it until it gets, uh, you know, perfect. Because this is completely different to the one I had before. I mean, the layout is still like, similar, but the inside is different. So um, I'm still kind of developing this one. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, developed idea, a spawner that I've built before, uh, check the tutorials that I've done before. So it's like 100% working perfect and all that. And this is like under development. <laughs> So I'm still kind of discovering uh, the weaknesses and all that. And as I said, guys, they changed totally the, the you know the spawn rate uh, from before to now. So it's much much slower now uh, the spawn rate. Okay, so I need some coal. I want to make some glass. I've got a ton of glass at home. Uh, what am I doing? What am I? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, Yeah, I think this is pretty much done. I don't know, I really like these tall trees. I hope I had all of these as tall trees. So I think I'm going to leave this video here, guys. Um, I'm probably going to leave it until the next time. I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do here. I might, I'm thinking about just taking all these leaves and uh, make it about four or five high. Let me guys know what you think. Should I just leave it like this, natural, and uh, probably just uh, cover this all around? Yeah, I'm gonna start doing this now. Um, you know, I want to cover all the redstone, so yeah, that should be fine. So I'm gonna actually cover all the redstone all around, and um, when this is done, um, I don't know if I should just uh, take off all these leaves. Let me guys know in the comments, and uh, you know, make a flat roof, or should I just leave it like this, just open? Looking out to the sky. It's a little bit annoying when it actually start raining. Or, wow, that's gonna. Oof, I was thinking about glass. If I do like a huge round or oh, circle, glass circle, just kind of floating and holding into this tube here, um, and leave these leaves. I don't know. That's gonna take a lot of cooking, a lot of. Um, I've got, I've got a lot of sand, so it's not a problem. It's just I have to cook a lot, so I'm gonna spend a lot of coal, and uh, I don't wanna waste all my coal, so. Let me guys know what you want to see around here. Uh, shall I leave it open or use glass to cover it all up or sandstone or wood or whatever you want to see. But personally I'm thinking about between glass and sandstone. Even though it's going to take a lot of time to cook all the glass that I need. But I think it's probably going to be, you know, it's going to be worth it at the end. Yeah, I don't think I need to go. I think I need to go this far here. Please, the glass will just break my knee. <laughs> I do want to actually break the glass here, but I want to see how. Yeah, or I might just remove all this glass and um, place some wood. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and uh, subscribe. And yeah, let me guys know what you think about uh, what I should do with the roof, or should I leave it like it's just something like this. I don't mind, so let me guys know, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take care for now. And